I've been recording audio today for a spoken word piece by Sam Walker and I thought I'd show some of the things I've done for it. So the environment we're in here at the moment is fairly sort of reflective and echoey you can see for the recording sound. It, it bounces around. Anyway, so I thought to just quite take the edge of that, I've put up a few um, sort of sound blankets of sorts. So I've basically just got like a C stand and I've got these flags that I've just sort of folded over and sort of position these, I mean I didn't always have them in the same place so depending upon like the camera shot as to where I would end up placing them and um, yeah, I just, it was really helpful having these would just sort of help take the edge off on, on, on the environment and um, yeah, so I, you know, I had another one here for instance and so yeah, you can see I'm, I'm hanging this over on the C-stand and uh, yeah, it really helped make quite a difference. And the, the DOP used it as also you know, a cutter now and then, I know this and move it around for, for good places for him. And my other thing I was going to mention about was the camera we were shooting on. He was shooting on a, a Scarlet Weapon, which has got the newer kind of red body design um, from you know, the earlier Epic and the original Scarlet bodies. So these newer bodies, one of the nice things about them is that they've got a mic built into it, so, oh, hang on, why are we not seeing the... Oh, we're at 50 frames. Oh, yes, <laughs> we're, not, we're not seeing this because we're off speed, so I'll pop this back, and see, like, look at that, you can see channel 1, channel 2, it's bouncing up, and if I tap my hand, you can see it spikes up. So, yeah, it's quite nice that there's an internal mic, so that means, you know, when you're just doing, like, a simple shoot, like we are now in a studio, you don't have to worry about you know, putting on an extra external mic for this, we can just rely upon that. But obviously, like, if we were, say, shooting outside on a windy day, you would, like, want to put stick on an external mic, just because those, that, those scratch mics built in would be pointless, it just be the wind will blow it out. Another point I'm going to show you now, but is um, when you've got a Tronco box, one thing to keep an eye on is that, so here I've got an UltraSync one, this is basically my favourite time code box, so I really like it. So anyway, when you hook it up here, you can see that the TC, it turns green. So that's the thing, you know, you can keep an eye on that if it, if, if it gets unplugged by some chance, that green will then turn grey. It should. Ah, there we go. It's turned grey now. It's kind of a bit of a <laughs> delayed, delayed action. And when I plug it back in, it will go green. So if you're wondering, you know, are you still plugged in? It's a really easy way to quickly glance at it. And of course, other ways, you can always just look at the nice big display on it and go, aha, that's the same. And um, that's sort of all I have to say about today. Like, subscribe, share.